Pussy ya then I want to save me What in the dry like wash and wear If I do ya now create the evidence I tired then I make a drive for the way Yeah, Welcome to our Bolso Podcast. I go by the name Papa Shanti. Subscribe and share. And you might see you already know. You know they see. I hope you're having a better, wonderful day. Enjoy. Share with your friend. And let's move to the quick view. The quick view. The quick view. Uh, on the quick view, Ghanaian artists, according to Wendy Shea, should thank Nigerian artists for drawing the world's attention to Africa. Now, Wendy Shea has urged her fellow uh, musicians in Ghana to appreciate the Nigerian artists for putting the lights on the Afrobeats genre. Now, there's, there's been a, a whole dialogue discussion on this uh, matter. Uh, Nigerians want the Ghanaians to appreciate their work. Ghanaians, on the other hand, are also um, crying over the hip life being, or the high life being the godfather of the Afrobeats, and so there's been a whole lot of shenanigans and and ins and outs, which is Ebu Boy so one two three. Now, TikTok, on the other hand, has also come out to say that that this should be a reverse um, uh, thing. Actually, Nigerians should appreciate the Ghanaian artists. I disagree with that. Nigerians have done a lot for the continent in terms of putting the light on the continent. The Burner Boy, uh, Wizkid, Davido, they've been able to sell out, sell out venues all across the, the world. Now, what has the Ghanaian artists done? That's the question. You cannot always rely on what happened in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. We are speaking currently. Now, what should we do? What should the Ghanaian artists do to be able to put light on their genre or whether they should be able to be or uh, be a part of the Afrobeat. We need to stop dwelling on the past and always talking about oh Nigerians oh we we created this and then they stole it and so on and so what we are in 2022 and you are still there crying over this eh? and when they say yes you made a valid statement now the question is are you and your colleagues are you guys ready to follow up with what you said if you give a thank you message to the nigerian artists what is next huh I, I think i believe that you should learn how to do the music now let's move on to the next one when the shay new song warning um is out it's lyrically profane now there's a whole lot of people are bashing the lyrics in in this music and and also um the the content itself now in the delivery of the the, 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 the lyrics when the Shay stated that a partner betrayed her now the her friend or whoever it is went behind when the Shay's back when when the Shay was uh literally working on her projects now behind her back was able to uh <laughs> take away and 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 destroy her uh to her man the the man that she loved and she took that man away from Wendy Shay now this is crazy. It's it's sad. I, I know I know how you feel, uh, Wendy Shay. But hey, Charlie, this is the the industry you are in, man. You know, once you are there as an entertainer, you got to figure out how to do things. Now you, you made a statement saying that the it is very difficult for a hardworking woman to find a man. That is a true lie. That is a lie. That is not factual. You don't have any facts to to make that claim. Who doesn't want a successful woman? Which man? What man doesn't want a successful woman? A hardworking woman? You are not making any sense. I think you are still in the African mentality phase. Live away from it. Move away from it. Let's move on to the next one. A list of price increases this week that shocked consumers. Now, a list of uh, prices increased this week. It is crazy, man. With the inflation and everything that is going on now in Ghana, all oh, even cement prices is up from 65 cities to 80 cities. It's crazy. You know, how are we supposed to do our real estate or continue our real estate projects if if prices keep going up? Now, we are looking at uh, a sachet of water from seven cities to nine cities per bag. <laughs> seven cities to nine cities per bag. Hashtag bring back Penny de Penny. A1 ice water rubber. 
with this hashtag we also have another question to ask that is our water clean is our water clean without a clean water it's difficult to bring back hashtag penny de penny a1 if you remember that one Nopana, the ice is a chili i come i had no more no more we want insu. Insu insu. From seven to nine. And what you do? Okay, let's move on. Transport fare to increase thirty percent more. Transport. We say the thirty percent more. Abeka fare home. I know I she it is difficult for a normal Ghanaian to leave um in that or uh, to have a very very peaceful life in ghana for a normal Ghanaian, we're not talking about those in east Legon and sprinters and ahonjo and all these estate areas we're talking about normal Ghanaian. and so so what you want to to be making an impact in terms of um fighting demonstrating protesting for a better ghana now to allow you jimmy now will be cast i'm now with you them yeah that's on you that's on you let's move on to the next uh, a kilogram of pork to increase from 14 cities to 18 cities and this is an increase of 22 or 2.2 percent in the inflation of 33 percent now pork power pork pork can weekends pork boys be share pork or rain sana pork in chain uncle for baby the new echo trabar see no i just pork my own memory pork back away pork charles queen 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 old queen kwame charles kwame charles on the See ah, Kwame Charles is cost you. In even the better no, we want to be the ABI and Kwame. Kwame Charles, when you Kwame Charles, now when you invent the doctor, be the answer to me. Ko, I go and check at least pork no. It's a shame be a bear four five p. In from a pork, ne a gun. You see, you see pork is cost you. It is a a bear day and a cross for a report. God has forced you. We know say everybody loves pork. You see, SDA force no pork. Bamu de Moses still am berry. Munjai. Montiso. Oh, moving on to the next quick view action. Aisha Hodge. Now a Chinese girl I'm saying can pain to be persecuted. To be persecuted. Now, this issue, we you know we're not gonna tackle deep, but I'll just give uh, a quick three points. Who is Aisha Hog for her to insult Ghana and its laws? Now Ghana is not a nation to be mocked. Ghana should not be regarded with contempt, or possibly she has the support of a top government official. You, do you think so? What do you think? So far, so good. Um, is Ghana so corrupt that people can get away with anything? Let's hope this issue isn't swept under the rug if she is found guilty. Now, Ghana, dear, Bibia Timisi, Bibia Timisi, it is possible. A bit to me, ah. Alpha baby cry who they see a So I say, how can someone who has been banished? Oh no, not banished, deported. Deported. How can that someone re-enter the, the country again? Eh? Where is the customs services? Where are our security intelligence? What kind of we are not keeping track of our data? It is about time we take things very serious because we are constantly always thinking about abruci abroad this and that and so on okay we can never be like an advanced country because we it is still a developing country but we gotta work hard to get there we have to be very serious and delicate in in our work will never make sense to the people okay now, is it of any value of the Ghana card given that a deportee was able to obtain a Ghana card and register with the Ghana card uh, system while the majority of Ghanaians still lack one? How did Aisha Hogg obtain a Ghanaian identification card while the NIA denied granting one? This reviews this reviews how flawed the system is. How flawed the system is. Unisika, Ubet, Unisika. Uniska, Uniska, who better go Ghana? Uniska, when Timi first came, first Timi ma ubi a who better? It's a system, and I know said, Omo Omo ye involved in these kind of activities, no? They go home and complain about the system, but you are the one 
manipulating the system. And think, why can't you for once? Why can't you for once say this time that you will take a lead to stop the corruption? The last one, how was it possible that her recent re-entry into the country went undetected by the immigration services at different entry points? We still have a long way to go in our effort to dig digitalize our systems, particularly for security reasons. We always, they be, uh, we are preaching about e E, e digitalization, e levy, e pharmacy, e uh, watch, e cocoon, everything is digitalization. But do we even have the storage? Do we even have the data uh, a base uh, or we have a data center to store the, the data? Because if someone is re entering a country that has deported them in the past, we should have a data that will track and will alert. The security officers that this said person has been deported so we are not gonna allow re-entry and the person was a a very well known um uh, person in ghana in terms of the illegal galamse mining when the first issue popped out she was known in a more and more immigration service near customs near the well it's about time this is the quick view the quick view the quick view now let's look at the topic of the day so the topic of the day Sakwadier has said that you can't criticize us for going global if you haven't made it on bbc you can't criticize us for going global if you haven't made it on bbc now not just bbc but if you are a Ghanaian media personnel who is constantly criticizing the Ghanaian artists, the Ghanaian music artists, the Ghanaian movie actors and actresses, and you yourself as a media person, in the past 20 years of being in the industry, you have never stepped foot or even um, grow your career to in becoming a bigger brand. Sakodie basically or Kase. Ghana for a eh, media for no a eh, sanquas ne concert and a moody. Wow, um, 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 grow you a walk area. Musu debiano, okay, size you almost say, I don't a Ghana artist for a multi bomb on Monday. Why can't they do uh, a better job in promoting themselves? Why cannot, uh, why can't they uh, emulate what the Nigerians are currently doing? But guess what? The Nigerian media are constantly promoting their people in Nigeria. It's about 10 to to 90 90 of the music content that is played on the nigerian um airways and and all around nigeria is the nigerian music in ghana you bought only 10 percent of the ghanaian music and foreign music and so then you start making um assumptions and 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 and, and stupid comment and foolishly uh, blame these people out then you yourself know you don't have any sense because whatever Sakodi is saying right now is actually facts, it's factual and we should look into it because as a media person in Ghana, you should be able to sell yourself and be in the public space in terms of globally ex expanding your brand. Now, while, while you get yourself uh, in the, on, on the global, on the global um, um, line, then you can help the Ghana industry, you can help the Ghanaian artists because then you have grown to have um networks multiple networks to be able to stretch and say okay may fret mtv for today i will call bet today i will call vhs uh um today uh i mean v vh1 um i might say i have a connection oh uh, dev jam these people will help in publishing and so on and so forth but for you you have not been able to do it you sit on the with your console and just make stupid comment. Now, the one Sakwadiye also said he he um supported his claim by saying say Komla Domo, Komla Domo, the late Komla Domo, not or, or a broadcaster with the BBC. Now he started, I think, way back in Ghana with Joy um Media or Joy FM or uh, you know means I don't have the name, but Joy, and he was able to grow in getting a contract to work with bbc now this is an example of a successful um ghanian 
presenter or a broadcaster or a journalist, someone who has understood the task, the ask, and is able to transcend that experience from uh, being um, uh, in Ghana as a journalist and growing into the Western industry. Now, globally, he was able to sell Ghana. He was on TED, TEDx. He was able to sell who we are as Ghanaians. Go out to Ghana now, won't me any yes, I know many people. Do not, do not sit on your console or our radio station making no uh, 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 stupid, uh, um, 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 you know, accusations. Now, there's one person like ah, uh, a lot of people have issues with Ghana for media person. Once oh interview, be a movie, such stupid questions, movie, such questions are and for Bibiamba, they you'll be asking constantly asking stupid questions, you know, and that itself attributes to you not being able to grow. I think it's about time uh, uh, we all set up and you make changes to, to whatever you do. Now, Sagodia said, say, it is easy for someone to sit on the radio and say that Shatawale or Sagodia didn't do this or that. I know that we, the artists, have this we should do. And also, um, the Ghanaian radio, <laughs> so if you sit on the Ghanaian radio for close to 20 years and you have not moved to a platform like Choice or BBC. I don't think you have the moral right to talk about Ghanaian artists who have not moved. Facts. You don't have the moral right. Who you are? Who you look at artists? Who you look at media person? Eh? The person that should be able to criticize them in terms of the Ghanaian artists not being global should be someone uh, or no no or you globally acclaimed someone who is known. I'm not going to make it those accusations because they once they give that they criticize them once they criticize them they can give them a solution to the critics they can give them a solution a very simple and yet yeah advice advice you know what for more or no no then on yes that simple don't sit on your platform and be making foolish claims because a human adding a human adding and today ends the topic of the day i want to know your opinion share your opinion your three points and and also subscribe and share i go i go by the name papa shanti aboso hey.